What's up, YouTube? This is Sly88Fry here. I was about to actually start one of the AVGN episodes, Angry Video Game Nerd episodes, that I actually left on my playlist of videos to react to, but I just saw something interesting in my notifications that I'm going to watch first. V101 Science. The, the Planets 101 Mercury. Mercury. I wonder what he has to say that he hasn't said already in... What would it be like if you could actually walk on Mercury? Which will probably never happen in our in the future, but it's interesting to theorize. I love V one V one oh one science. Their channel's so cool. The planet Mercury. Yes. A world of extremes that bears the scars of a violent history. Oh yeah. This small planet is mm. often thought of as just a barren rock floating through space. But Mercury is a fascinating world of bizarre mysteries that are only just beginning to be unraveled. Named after the Roman god of shopkeepers, merchants, travelers and thieves, but also commonly identified with the Greek swift-footed messenger of the gods, yes. Hermes, Mercury is the smallest of the eight main planets that help to make up the solar system. Mm -hmm. It has a diameter of 3,032 miles across, which is 4,879 kilometers across, making it slightly larger than Earth's moon. <laughs> Just like its neighbors, Venus, Earth, and Mars, Mercury is classed as a terrestrial or rocky planet that likely formed 4.5 billion years ago when yeah. gravity pulled swirling gas and dust together. It has a solid surface that is covered in craters similar to the moon, a rocky mantle that is only 250 miles or 400 kilometers thick, a hmm. molten metal outer core, and a massive solid metal inner core that okay. makes up nearly 85% of the planet's volume. Okay. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and has to endure the full force of our star's glare, causing dramatic temperature changes across the tortured world. On its sun-facing side, it can rise to a scorching 427 degrees Celsius, which oh, is yeah. 800 degrees Fahrenheit and is hot enough to melt lead. Oh, yeah. Whereas on the dark side, the temperature can plummet to a frigid minus 180 degrees Celsius, which I'm is minus like no 292 degrees Fahrenheit. Although Mercury is very close to the Sun, it isn't the hottest planet in the solar system, however, as that title belongs to our cloud-covered neighbor, Venus. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mercury follows an elliptical, oval-shaped orbit that takes about 88 Earth days to complete. It travels through space faster than any other planet in the solar system, a rapid sense. 29 miles or 47 kilometers every second. However, one day on Mercury is extremely long due to its slow spin, taking one rotation nearly 59 God, Earth scary. days. Mercury Instead of a <laughs> thick atmosphere, Mercury has what is known as an exosphere, which is mostly composed of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. The tenuous exosphere is created by solar wind, volcanic outgassing, and debris that has been kicked up by striking meteoroids. And without constant replenishment, the atoms that make up the exosphere would likely be stripped away into space relatively quickly. Since Mercury has no real protective atmosphere to help burn up incoming meteoroids or asteroids, the planet is riddled with impact craters. Of course. The largest crater, known as the Caloris Basin, was caused by an enormous object that struck the planet with an impact equal to that of one trillion megaton bombs, leaving a colossal Damn. crater roughly 950 miles or 1,525 kilometers across. Wow, that's huge. Because Mercury is so close to the Sun, it is the hardest of all the inner planets to observe from Earth arguably making it the most enigmatic of the rocky yeah. worlds. 
You may end up looking However, at the sun at by certain mistake. times of the year, and with an unobstructed horizon, you can see it with just the naked eye, as it appears as a bright yellowish star in the evening, just after sunset, or in the morning, just before sunrise. Mercury can also be observed 13 <laughs> times a century passing across the face of the sun during an event called a transit. A transit? So far, only huh. two spacecraft have visited Mercury, making it one of the least explored planets in the solar system. Makes a lot of the sense. The first was Mariner 10, which imaged about 45% of its surface, discovered Mercury's thin exosphere, and detected its magnetic field. The second was the Messenger spacecraft, which orbited the planet for four years and completed mapping 100% of Mercury's surface, while collecting groundbreaking data that changed the way we think about the small planet. Messenger eventually came to the end of its mission in April 2015 and crashed into Mercury's surface, providing the desolate world with one more crater. Oops. <laughs> but there is currently another spacecraft on its way that is expected to arrive there in late 2025. The Bepi Colombo spacecraft is a European Space Agency mission that will explore the tortured world and attempt to solve many more of Mercury's fascinating mysteries. Yes, indeed. A lot of stuff he mentioned is stuff I already knew, but that's because I watched a whole bunch of science videos like a few years ago, including V101 Science, and learned about a lot of stuff. But there were some things he mentioned that I didn't actually know. Uh, since that Voyager 1 and 2 video, there's a few other videos from V101 Science I had to get caught up on. But I'll, I'll check them out some other time. Uh, on my own time, actually. I'm not going to do reacts to them. Like, I knew about how it's incredibly hot and that Venus is hotter. I knew I actually learned that in elementary school. He probably did, too, for all I know. I mean, he, he obviously, he knows a lot more than I do since he's the Science Channel guy anyway. But, um, yeah, I, I also knew about how it's so frigidly cold on the side that isn't facing the sun. I believe it has to do with its lack of atmosphere, basically. Um... And anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out V101 Science. It, he's, he's definitely my favorite science YouTube channel. It's my favorite one. Um, there are others I've watched, but this one's my favorite. And I especially love the series... Uh, what's it called? Uh, I'll look it up in the playlists. Uh, Beyond Pluto is cool. He talks about the theorized ninth planet... Um, that could be part of our solar system that we just haven't that, that we just haven't discovered. It's in the uh, what's it called the Kuiper Belt? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Sounds of the Planets series is really interesting. I haven't watched all of his. I don't think, but like, um, it's curious. Um, like what sounds the planets make? Um, actually, sa the sound of Saturn is kind of creepy. But then if you listen to the sound of the rings, it sounds cool. Uh, the sound of Earth is is a curious one because you'll hear a bunch of wind and stuff. Um, but there's also a sound called the song of Earth, where, where basically you're hearing all the other stuff on Earth, not just the wind, but like the airplanes, the, the beeps, all the electronics and stuff from people flying planes and, and so on. Although I guess nowadays with the coronavirus, you're not likely to hear as much of that. Uh, but yeah, view playlists. I think it's the solar. Si yeah, yeah. This one's. This is where I kind of start got got started watching this guy. Is what would it be like to stand on each planet's surface or the or the in, or inhabitable moons? First one I saw was the Pluto one, which was really beautiful. Um, just in general, it's a really interesting uh, series of videos. Uh, I don't know why he doesn't have the one for. Um, he actually has one for Saturn's moon Titan, but I don't know why it's not in the playlist. I've seen it before. It doesn't seem to be there for some reason. But anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell icon to add me notifications. I highly recommend you check out V101 Science as well.